Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In today's episode, we'll be exploring and conducting a review of the new fifth generation or 5G technology. We also invite you to check out and discover more original CSIAC content available at our website at www.csiac.org. The next generation 5G wireless technology will soon be available with the launching of 5G wireless networks along with compatible cellular technologies. Before we examine 5G, commonly called fifth generation, let's take a few moments to discuss an evolution of mobile networks. The second generation, 2G, was launched in Finland in 1991. 2G enabled mobile networks to provide services such as voice, text, and picture messages. 2G utilized Time Division Multiple Access, TDMA, or Code Division Multiple Access, CDMA. There, there are various TDMA technologies. 2G was faster than old modems, but based on today's standards, 2G is still relatively slow. Moving on to 3G. 3G was first launched in Japan in October 2001. However, there was a massive delay in the launch of 3G due to incompatibilities between 3G and 2G. In the US, Verizon launched 3G in 2002. 3G was much faster than 2G with speeds up to 3.1 megabits per second depending on the network. Also, smartphones started to be developed particularly Apple and Android devices. Besides voice, text, and picture messages, one can send videos over 3G networks. Let's talk about 4G and 4G LTE long-term evolution. As we can see, moving from 2G to 3G, speeds get faster and more data can be delivered. 4G and 4G LTE have different technologies. 4G LTE was launched in Norway and Sweden in 2009, and 4G was launched in the US by Sprint in December 2010. Both 4G and 4G LTE offer more reliable and faster speeds than 3G. Most places offer 4G and 4G LTE, but when users with 4G devices are in areas offering only 3G, Smartphones and other devices will switch over to 3G. If this happens, you won't have any issues with talk or voice. You will just have slower internet and download speeds. Speeds for 4G and 4G LTE vary according to networks, with speeds up to 50 megabits per second possible, but 4 to 12 megabits per second are much more common. In addition to text, voice, and videos, 4G and 4G LTE offer video teleconferencing and cable streaming video. Many companies worldwide take advantage of teleconferencing, saving both time and travel expenses. Numerous cable companies take advantage of smart TVs by offering various streaming services, such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Sling TV, and YouTube as, as examples. Additionally, besides Apple iPhones and Android devices, iPads and tablets also hit the marketplace. Finally, there are hundreds of thousands of apps that are available to the users to simplify day-to-day -day activities. Would you like to be able to download a two gigabit movie in six seconds or less? Well, that can be done with the up-and-coming 5G technology. 5G technology is different from the other technologies and is not compatible with any of them. 5G is built on the 802.11ac 
Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE Wireless Networking Standard. 5G also has the potential to make land-based internet in the home obsolete, but that will take some time. There are three approaches to 5G, speed, density, and latency. Speeds are anywhere from 10 to 100 times faster than 4G. 5G will allow more people on the network simultaneously, and the latency periods can be less than one millisecond. 5G uses high-end millimeter wavelengths. Millimeter wavelengths do not function well if obstacles are in the way. For example, a leaf on a tree can disrupt them, and they do not travel very far either. In a 5G experiment in Virginia, distances of 10.6 kilometers were reached in a direct line of sight with the transmitter. That's not very far, and that is due to the fact that 5G uses orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, OFDM technology. With only a 10 kilometer distance of travel, we will need a much more robust infrastructure, including more fiber and antennas to support 5G wireless technology. The antennas will need to be placed in multiple locations, such as towers, telephone poles, or lamp posts. These antennas provide a direct line of communication between cells and also provide load balancing of the data. As one can imagine, adding more sensors can be very costly. Cost estimates are as high as $2.5 trillion by 2035. However, there is also a projection for a potential increase of productivity of $10 trillion, which is a substantial increase. We will be hearing about the Internet of Things, the IoT, more and more. Basically, the IoT is a network of Internet-connected objects, such as vehicles or electronic home appliances along with connectivity that exchanges data by relying on sensors. The IoT can refer to any physical object connected to the network. Now, let's take a look at some of the uses of 5G technology. It will have a di direct impact on agricultural and farming. Real-time communications between farming equipment in the field and field condition notifications will be possible. Uploading data to the cloud will be faster and more efficient with less do-overs needed. Airports will have better communications between the FAA and pilots. There will be numerous improvements which will transform the following. Ground operations, security checkpoints, runway monitoring, baggage handling, and building management. The automotive industry will be no different. The industry is moving towards smart cars, which are autonomous vehicles with no human drivers. Business will be able to be conducted via virtual reality and augmented reality technologies. Passengers will be able to watch movies and play games while traveling to their destination. If you live in the city, you're in luck. There is a plethora of services that will be affected by 5G. These services will enable greater efficiencies and will allow more services to be delivered to people. Cost and resources consumption will be reduced, which will re result in better use of public tax dollars. Energy savings like smart lighting will make for a greener environment. Smart offices can monitor and control operations to improve conditions such as lighting, air conditioning, air quality, as well as employee security. Building urban farms in multi-story buildings can provide food from fresh fish to produce and herbs. Use of solar panels and wind turbines will take advantage of free energy. 5G will allow the unleashing of the next generation for the grid. 
devices will be more precisely monitored and allow for more accurate forecasting of energy needs. Smart street lighting is a first step towards smart cities. Smart street lighting will automatically dim public lighting when no pedestrians or vehicles are present. It is being utilized in San Diego with a cost savings of almost $2 million per year. Global Position Sensors GPS, will get a makeover. Location awareness will become essential and there will be new positioning capabilities made available. With our aging population, the telemedicine market is expected to grow exponentially and the healthcare industry will be revolutionized. We will see an increase in the effectiveness of preventative care as doctors can monitor patients in real time. With the advent of telehealth, doctors making life-saving decisions and performing robotic surgery remotely will come to fruition. Finally, in the future, artificial intelligence can be used to help determine potential diagnoses. As mentioned previously, the older mobile networks are not compatible with the new technology. Therefore, in order to utilize 5G technology in the future, one must have a 5G cell phone. The new radio will have a new air interface for 5G. A new interface will take place between the mobile device and an active base station. It is designed to significantly improve performance, flexibility, scalability, and efficiency of current mobile networks. Five G could enhance mobile security. The traditional security gaps associated with data protection in three G and four G has vastly improved in the 5G mobile communication standard. Privacy leakage is a huge concern. As more privacy information will be exchanged, privacy protection will become more challenging. A special emphasis will be placed on both security and privacy requirements. You will see your home environment change drastically. The smart home of the future will enable greater interactive control in order to provide a more efficient environment and comfortable living conditions. Mm -hmm. 5G technology will affect trains and railways. The railway will become more secure and reliable. Control and maintenance of critical railway operations will be possible. The release of 5G should start occurring sometime in 2019, but wider communications are anticipated for 2020. Some cities are investing in 5G by presently installing sensors. The major Tier 1 carriers are all in on 5G and 18 other smaller carriers are also committed to bringing this technology to fruition in the near future. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide us with feedback, please comment on this video or visit our website at www.csiac.org, where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up. Visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars 